Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the theater. My voice is still a little shot, my breathing is still a little eh, but other than that, I'm feeling all right. Also, I feel like a grease ball today, so I really need to shower at some point. That's probably too much information, but I've been doing a lot of sweating lately while laying in bed because of whatever's still going on in my body. Anyway, um, plan is for just a really short day at work here. Just gotta get a few things done. I brought my laptop down with me. Not sure if I'm gonna um, get to that, but it is an option if I want to. Also, oh my God. So I go to work with my sister-in-law in the morning because we work really close together. So she nicely drops me off um, on her way to get her morning coffee. So we go out in the garage this morning. She goes, whoa, get back in the house. And there's a spider and the spider is like this. Uh, it was huge and I, I can't do spiders. Like, ew. I can't. I've gotten better. I now run and scream <laughs> instead, of, instead of like just being completely petrified. I can now run away from them. But yeah, so. She, she took it down. She like had to get it off the ceiling basically and then crush it under some boards. She's my hero. Um, but yeah, so that was the event of this morning. Like I said, I'm just gonna work for a short time hopefully and then get some more writing done. Although I did the math today. So I've written about 50,000 words this month and I've written 24,000 of them in the last week. <laughs> Got a problem. Hello again. Um, I feel like I've had the longest day ever. Work was only four hours, which I thought it would be, but it is currently three o'clock. After work, I went to McDonald's, because I got that gift card, um, to eat food and write, and I was probably there for almost two hours writing, and I got 3,600 words in for the day already. My brain is a little like, what are you doing to me? Um, and I wanna write more, but I think I need to take a break. And most importantly, because I need to shower, because my hair is so greasy and disgusting, I need to deal with that. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. I, I need to pause, but I'm just, I'm so, I, my brain is going in overdrive right now, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if it's like, yeah, let's write more, this is awesome, or if it's like, calm down. So I don't know what's happening. So I'm gonna take a shower and hopefully whatever's happening can just simmer a bit. Um, and then probably take some time to tidy up the room, but I now have a three-day weekend. I'm very excited um, I'm still feeling kind of crappy I was hoping that today I could get back into the workout room maybe and maybe I still will but I definitely Almost had a full-on coughing fit while I was out You know when your throat gets dry and you can try drinking water you can try doing whatever and and it doesn't work Thankfully, I had a cough drops in my backpack because it was bad and I'm like, I don't want to have a cough attack in McDonald's when people are eating kind of near me. So, averted that, but it was, it was close. Anyway, I've rambled a lot. It is a time to shower and just feel like a real person again and it's going to be awesome. I am feeling a way more human, which is nice. This is the first time I've actually washed my hair since I've dyed it. It didn't fade too much, so that's great. Um, but I'm also super unmotivated to do anything. I could probably motivate to write, but it's almost dinner time or it's almost time to start cooking dinner. So I don't really want to get into anything. I'm just trying to find, oh, GoPro. <laughs> It's amazing the places I find that. Um, I'm just getting my charger because my phone is dying, so I'm just gonna chill on my bed because I have like a, a pad for charging next to my bed, so I can't I can't watch YouTube while there. So there. <laughs> I'm so articulate today. Anyways, I'm just gonna chill. I think until it's time to cook dinner, watch some informative YouTube videos because I find them really fascinating. My, it must be my history major, but yeah, that's that's what I'm up to. I, I feel so great as a human right now. I still need to make my bed and deal with my room because it's got a little bit about out of hand again, but I've written like 27,000 words this week. It's to be expected. <laughs> All right, I've broken down and I made my bed and I'm about to fold laundry and put it away because I was looking around my room and it's just such a disaster. Uh, anyway, that's what I'm gonna do for the next little while here. I've put on a flat 
Earth documentary, Behind the Curve. I'm just, I'm really interested to watch it. I'm already, yeah. <sighs> Anyways, interested to watch it, see what it's all about, uh, and yeah, documentaries are fun. They're, they can be informative, they can just be interesting. And yeah, and then I think I'll probably get into writing a little bit later here. It is currently 7... 7.50. Ooh, I thought it was 7.30. Okay, let's get going. We don't really have a lot to do, but we're gonna do a lot anyway. Alrighty, so that was a thing I watched. <laughs> I, th I think my favorite part was when some, and I had heard about this before, but when somebody spent $20,000 on, a, I think it was a laser gyroscope, and, and they said, you know, if the earth is spinning, it'll move 15 degrees every hour. And they're like, oh wow, it's turning 15 degrees, or it's moving 15 degrees every hour. Those aren't the results we're looking for. How can we manipulate this to be the results we're looking for? So. Anyways, I thought that was pretty funny, and then they, at the end, they did a different experiment, and they're like, this is how it should be, and that will mean the Earth is flat. And they're like, huh, well, if it does that, it means the Earth isn't flat. This doesn't seem right. So, <sighs> anyway, I, that was, yep, yeah, that was a thing I watched, and now I'm going to go run away into my imaginary world and write some more words. <laughs> There is maybe a little too much green going on. Is there ever too much green? Anyway, I have been writing. I'm just about at 5,000 words for the day and it doesn't even feel like that because I have been enjoying it so much. I had a moment, it wasn't even like anything exciting really happening. I just had a moment of pure joy about writing this story and it's so great. I like, it feels good in my heart, which is such a weird thing. <sighs> So that's that's where I am at. I think I'm a little, a little bit brain's slowing down a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to write a little bit more before the end of the night, but it's about 20 after 10 now, so I don't want to stay up too much later because I'm still, as we know, a little sick. So I would like to get it out of my system. It would be super convenient if it would just peace out, but I definitely do want to write another like 20 more words just so I can actually have 5,000 for the day at least so yeah maybe I'll finish this chapter I don't know I'm just I'm so excited it's oh this is this is great it's, it's so nice to not be in a place where I'm like hating every word because sometimes I mean writing is always hard but sometimes it's hard and you hate it but right now it's hard and I love it and I just want to keep writing and I don't want to sleep but I should sleep <sighs> anyway just want to update <sighs> I just feel so good okay I'm gonna go now okay so it is quarter to 11 I finished that chapter so I am done writing for the night I don't want to stop but I should probably stop because I have to blog and I have to edit the blog and again like I said I want to sleep but honestly I could just keep writing yeah so the final word count for today is 5,867 words which is stupid I get it <laughs> but do you want to know what's more stupid I've written over 30,000 words this week what I don't even know. This is what happens when you get like really into story. It also helps like I, I have a lot of this written already, but it's very exciting. I'm very happy about it. You can see right here. Um, and I just want to keep going, which is great. And I just, uh, I love this story so much. Anyway, I think I need to go to sleep. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and we're gonna be seeing you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night!